Put your hands together for ACAG hey. Productions. Hey. We're ready. Hey. Yeah. Hey. We're ready. We're ready. Good afternoon, hey. ACAG hey. Production. Hey. Reaching for the dog. Don't hey. stop. Just get ready to have a good time. In the night jam. Are you ready? Mama, sister, brother. Just want to have some fun. Praise the Lord, this is Ricky Dillon, and I want to celebrate my friends, the AC Fun Time Productions. God bless y'all. See y'all soon. Hi, this is AC, and as you can see, we are all over the low country gathering powerful information that meeting you right where you are at the level you're on to connect with the community to reach your full potential. And the tools that we are using, we call it castor oil and honey. The castor oil is that powerful information, and the honey is that clean, positive entertainment that you're used to. Oh, you remember how we did it back in the 60s? Come on. Now, today's show is about having the right to raise up and to speak up for the right to come to the table and negotiate. For some people have now learned that if they are not at the table, they will be the dinner. <laughs> back on the picket line when we were marching, the brother said, hey, back in the 60s, pork and beans was good, but we want steak today, and we want 15 and 14. We don't want it tomorrow. We want it now. Who am I? Tell him, Ella Cully. Arthur Dot Chisholm at at and dot net. You can go to Facebook and Facebook Arthur Chisholm, and that's Arthur Chisholm. He'll be riding a white horse. I'm here to tell AC Fun Time, keep on doing what you're doing. You're doing a great job. We people who are darker than blue are we gonna stand around this town and let what others say come true. We're just good for nothing. They all figure. A boy's grown up shiftless jigger. Now we can't hardly stand for that. Or is that really where it's at? We people who are darker than blue. This ain't no time for segregating. I'm talking about brown and yellow too. Hi, yellow girl, can't you tell? You're just the surface of our dark deep well. If your man could really see, you'd know your color, same as me. Pardon me, brother, as you stand in your glory. We're a winner, and never let anybody say, Boy, you can't make it, cause some people mad is in your way. No more tears do we cry, and we have finally tried our eyes. So we're moving on up, moving on up. Lord have mercy, we're moving on up now. We're moving on up. We're living proof and all's alert that we're two from the good black man. And we're a winner. And everybody knows it too. We just keep on pushing. Like your leaders tell you to. At last that blessed day has come. And I don't care where you come from. We're all moving on up, moving on up. Lord have mercy. Good morning, AC Funtime Superstar. We are standing here with an early morning protest with Mr. David Mack. Mr. David Mack, can you tell us what can we expect here this morning? I think people are standing up. I mean, we need to get folks having a decent wage, a livable wage. Uh, we see that as being uh, $15 an hour for right now, and uh, that's what we're here for. It's, it's good for people. It's good for the economy. It's a win-win situation, and um, I'm very excited to be a part of this. It's very much needed. Mr. Wendell Gilliard here. Mr. Wendell, you have any words? Well, definitely, I just want to echo uh, State Representative David Mack. I, I think he's a great leader in this area. We came down uh, to support him. Uh, believe me, this is a great cause. I am very happy to see so much young people here. You know, I see young, I see middle-aged, I see black, I see white. It makes me feel proud. And I think they're sending the message, and the message is that we have stake in these types of cooperation. These corporations make hundreds of billions of dollars, if not trillions, and these people ought to be paid for what they're worth. Very good. Mr. Seth Whipper, you have a word. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, good morning, everybody, and we are really glad to see what's happening here today. South Carolina is a big issue when it comes to um, the value of labor. And we know that working people work hard, South Carolinians work hard. 
these folks normally up at this time. And if you look at that bus, you know that bus, if you can see that bus over, that bus is loaded with folks going to work. And they need to be treated fairly for the time that they put on their job because they value their job. And so they need to be valued for doing their job. And we here to support that idea. We like what we see. And of course, we always like to be working with Arthur <laughs> because he knows what's going on. Great. <laughs> Seth Whipper, Mr. David Mack, Mr. Window Gill Yard, we want to thank you. And you heard it first right here on AC Fun Time. Stay tuned. This is Javan Paisley. <laughs> to, to the army, the old, I need thee every year. I in this place. Not sure. Not sure. But we got our news man right there. We got that. He's called AC. Yeah, this is an inter more internal process. We're down at the ILA Hall having breakfast after the protests from Burger King on Dorchester Road and 526. AC Funtime Superstars and we are on the move. We want the for the people That's all we ask In our country dear The sick and the hungry Are unable Protect them And those who may live in fear We as the young Wish to say in this song God bless Great America We give thanks To the old For achieving their goal it is now up to us, and we know we must build up a trust. And we want the power for the people. That's all we ask in our country, dear. The sick and the hungry are unable. Protect them and AC Funtime Superstar with Mr. Dixon and Leonard Riley. We are Mr. Riley, let's start with you. Tell me what's going on here and what took place in that room. It was over my head. Well, it's, it should be. It's a lot of stuff going on. We're here in support of Nurse Chris Nelson as well as in protest that this university has ele elected to, um, to ignore the concerns of the community. Uh, the concerns the community have about the fair treatment of workers over at the university. We submitted a well-documented list of complaints in November. And from November to now, we hadn't heard a word. Mm -hmm. The committee that came in, what I called the dream team of the community, was elected officials, there were ministers, there was labor at the table, there were community activists, yet we have been ignored. We want to tell them this morning that we are not going to be ignored. We demand answers to those concerns. And there's something in the air that they need to be aware of. Mm -hmm. We're not going back. I, I heard that. Mr. Dixon, you have a few words? Yes, sir. And uh, I'm going to echo what, uh, what Brother Riley just said, that we're not going back. This is only the beginning of a movement, that until we see change, until we see change in the way that people are treated, especially people of color are treated here at MUSC and throughout the, the low country and the world, we're not going to change. We're go this is a movement that has begun. We're asking anybody and everybody who wants to be a part of this movement, who really cares about their fellow bro brother, are, are we our brother's keeper? If you really believe that, then the, ne then the next time that we have anything going on, which will be in a few minutes, uh, dealing with the, the increase in minimum wage, which is go, has got to go up to $15. And whenever you hear about anything that we're doing or anything that's going on, we need you to get up, get up out of them seats and get involved. And if you're the church and you say you're praying for us, when you say amen, we need you to get up and get out here in the streets with us and do what God would have you to Mr. do. Mr. Dixon said 
it's got to be 15 and 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. On that, on that minimum wage thing, we need 15 and 14. Need Not 15 and 17. No, we need a raise in 2014 up to $15 an hour. Not 60 cents and 14, 50 cents and 15, 70 cents and 16. No, we need 15 in 2014. And we need it when, y'all? No. no. Okay, we've got the Stand Up, Rise Up group in the back. Can we hear it for the Rise Up? Yeah. Yeah. We want to thank you, and we heard it first right here on AC Fun Time. Stay tuned, everybody. It's time now for some honey, Angela Lucky. Mr. Dixon, we're at another location with another problem. Yes, sir. Tell me what's happening at this location. Well, here we are today uh, at, this, uh, at this location at McDonald's, okay? Wow, what's the problem here? The problem is that McDonald's has a CEO that draws in $27 million annually. The problem is that he pays the people that's out here busting their hump every day, getting up, dealing with these irate customers, sweating over grills and carrying on, giving them $7.25 an hour, keeping them from benefits and things like that. This corporation is basically denying people their human rights, their right to life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, denying them that in order to benefit their pockets at the, at the upper levels. Basically what we have right now in these fast food workers and, and the reason why they're on strike today for more money is the fact that this is modern day slave labor. Give it up, turn it loose.
Trust that you're enjoying the show today. We've got a whole lot of castor oil, but right about here, I truly believe it's time for some honey. So if you would, please put your hands together and show your love for Lance Star. You never let me down So many years Have came and they have gone But you were always there In my life you showed me so many things that I could not see on my own in my life. You showed me the way, the way to your love. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. In my times, I've seen the pains and tears, but you were always there. Had my ups and downs, but you held me in my arms, you never let me fall. In my life, you showed me so many things. I see on my own in my life. You show me the way, the way to your love. Always oh, there, always oh, there, baby. Truly AC, having fun here, sitting with some friends. Elder Collie Town, yes. how are you today? I'm excellent. And Minister Julian Chisholm, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. This is another Chisholm, y'all. All right, we're going to get right to it. This week, I participated in the demonstration, McDonald's, Burger King, MUSC, where they protest because they feel like the minimum wage is not something that they can live on. Do you feel like they are in the right place? And do you feel like they are well within their rights for striking or protesting 
to get a fifteen dollar raise, and I think the minimum wage right now is seven twenty five. Do you agree with the, what they're doing, Mr. Julian Chisholm? Well, I won't say that I disagree with what they're doing, and uh, as far as to say I agree, that's really not for me uh, to actually uh, make a, a statement uh, concerning, but I will say this here, is that they're doing what they need to do at this particular moment. You know, they're positioned at this moment to do what they need to do, and they need additional wages so that they can have sufficient funds, then you do what you need to do. And they are protesting. That's what they feel they need to do in order to have their voices heard. And so uh, allow them to continue to do what they need to do. Well, uh, Elder Carly Town, you have any comments? Or do you feel like right now the minimum wage is seven twenty-five an hour? Can you live on seven twenty-five an hour? Well, um, with my lifestyle, no, I can't live on seven twenty-five an hour. But I have, you know, in the sixties we did. But this is now uh, 2014, and, and it's, we, we live in on 60 salaries, and, and people really can't do that. I know they can't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, the next question is um, the kind of funds that's coming through those businesses, do you or would you say it's fair that they can well afford to give them more money? In other words, if they go out and do a good day's work, shouldn't they expect a good dollar? I mean, on the surface, we could, uh, we could say... Um, that it's not fair, we could say. But then we don't know behind the scenes, and we're not speaking up for the uh, uh, for those that are in the big corporate uh, industries and and making millions and billions of dollars. It's just, you know, it, it is what it is at this particular moment. Okay, people do need to make a living, and if you're not going to support uh, the people that are working for you, obviously they're going to, uh, you know, make their voices heard. And they're making their voices heard in order that they can get additional wages. It's not saying that they're going to actually get those things, but they're taking the step in the right direction. And we would that they get those things. But when it comes to anyone running a business, you know, they're running their business and they're running it within the perimeters that are allowed by the law. It doesn't say that it's right because you're talking ethics now. You know, would you want your children or your family to be without? Of course they wouldn't. And so you're passing it down through the, uh, the funnel. I mean, so it goes right back to the, uh, the whole uh, ethics, you know. And if you don't have ethics in your uh, company um, when it comes to your workers, then it speaks for itself. Obviously, persons are out there doing what they need to do right now, and they're boycotting. They're saying, hey, look, we don't like the way we're being treated as far as wages. And so we're uh, taking a stand. And we would hope and pray, if you would, that persons would be moved and go ahead and uh, make a change. You know, Michael Jackson put it, you know, I'm taking a look at the man in the mirror, you know, and, uh, and asking that person to change. So what you're saying is that this is their business and they have a right to do what they want. If they want, if they if they have a right to say, well, this is what I'm going to pay you, and you're you're saying actually that if if they want to work there, um, they it's their choice whether they stay there and work for what that man is willing to give them, or they can leave. Is that what you're saying? Well, in in a sense, you know, it's the right in conjunction with the law. The law gives them the opportunity to actually choose. But now, do you transcend beyond the law and look at the humane aspect of it? Yeah. That's where the place where we need to be. And uh, that also goes with the internal aspect of those who are also uh, boycotting these persons inside of them. I think Elder Carly had mentioned it, uh, and she probably can put it a little bit better in terms of just looking at the culture, you know, where we come from. You know, we are tenacious people. Yeah. We are people that have a strong root inside of us. And it's just awakening that root, you know, inside of us that enables us to be empowered. And so when we actually come to that, that, that level of consciousness, you know, hey, you're not going to pay me these particular wages, then so be it. Um, I'll do what I need to do for right now, but I'm going to still go deep within, you know, and I'm going to find that place within and that place within is in within all of us in order that we can evolve and to create the businesses in which we desire to, independent, if it must be, of those that are not going to allow us the opportunity to make more wages. And the God that lives within you, you're capable of more than $15 an hour. You're capable of more than $100 an hour. But will you dream big? All right, I, I like that. Yeah. So what you're actually, actually saying here that 
the fast food workers are making a stand. They are yeah. they are making a difference. Yeah. They are they are they are coming to this place where people are gonna wake up yes. and realize that we are all connected. Yes, yes. And what goes around comes around. Yes, yes. And would you would you would you buy on the same token say we do need to wake up as a people? Oh yes, by all means. Wake up is like I think Spike Lee put it, he says, Wake up! Wake up! And it was in one of his movies. There's a there's a bunch of things that are going on. And when we wake up, that has to be, Elder Carly uh, made reference to it, it's, it's an internal thing. Yes. It's an internal uh, expression that every last one of us have. And it's not, uh, pr it's not uh, confined to culture. Yes. It's not confined to race. Yes. But then, when you take a look at the African American, when you take a look at his culture, where he comes from, he's a king. Yes. He's a king and independent. He's a yeah, and queens, independent of what anyone else thinks. And to go deep within, to just still the mind for a moment and let all that stuff, that stuff that is, is clogging us, to just be still and look at the champion on the inside. Elder Collie Town, for you, what can you say right now that would encourage the viewing audience to wake up, get on board, and get to this place where we can come together and be effective so we can reach our full potential. Again, I would say collective consciousness. And that, again, I would um, reiterate what uh, Brother Chisholm said. We got to go within ourselves. For so long, people, we've believed that we got to go outside of ourselves to get yes. what we want. Yes. But it's within us. Yes. It's within. I mean, it's easy for me to say it yes. because, you know, I'm saying it, but it can happen. Yes. I am an example of yes. that. You just have to go inside. And culture, again, is a way to transform. And we have a culture here that nobody else have. God has blessed us with Gullah Geechee culture. Mm -hmm. We are unique culture. The government has said. So we have rights, human rights, that go along with that. So we have to use those things. So you support the fast food workers? You stand behind them? And do you feel like everyone else should get in march and stand behind them? And we talked earlier about they don't necessarily have to get on the picket line, but l just like we providing the platform with the camera and the mics, uh, Minister Chisholm say uh, that someone else could do something else and, and, and to feel that they're expert in to help us get to this place where we reach our full potential. But we do need to, you said, wake up. I do, I do believe that we are waking up. I believe that we are waking up and the fast food workers strike is, a, is one of the thing, one of the tools that we're using to wake up. We're waking up. Minister Chisholm, any closing remarks? My only closing remark, Arthur, would be that we would take an inspection of ourselves independent of what is actually taking place presently because we're only going to be on the picket line for so, so long, you know, and we'll be excited, we'll be fired up. Yes. But now it's like, how do I actually go within? That's the thing that I believe most people really want to know. How do you become free within? It is a part of a person that cannot be ignored. And it is a part of a person that will catapult them into the present moment and into what I like to call is a continuum future, a continuum. Because the future is now, but it's always happening, okay? It's always happening. And people want to be able to change from within, but they don't know how. Okay. I like that. I feel like this has been pretty interesting. Yeah. But right now, I, I want to leave you, and I really want to put you on the spot. The fast food workers, you would say, let's, let's start, they are standing up. Yeah. They are standing up. They are making a difference. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Yes, they're, they're, they're making a difference uh, in that moment. Okay, now how or what can people do to support that? Well, what people can do to support that is to continue to do the things that they are compelled to do in order that that movement would actually continue and they would get satisfaction. As to say specifics, I believe that if we have a vision, okay, we don't perish. And continue with the vision in which you believe is getting you results. Elder Carly Town? I agree um, with uh, Brother Chisholm, and, and that is the thing. Uh, we must have a vision, and the vision that we have has to be generational. It can't stop right here. It has to be for our children, children, children. You heard it first right here on the AC Fun Time Superstar. Elder Carly Town, Minister Chisholm, yours truly, we'll see you on the other side. On the board! On the board! On the board! On the board.